Hi, my name is Dr. John Riard, and I want to talk to you today about some very interesting research linking GMO foods to a weakened digestive system and the possible risk of gluten intolerance. Now, we know there's many factors that are causing the increase in gluten intolerance in the last 10 years, but new research is linking GMO foods to the weakening of our digestive system. It's kind of crazy, but really important research. Now, there are about nine GMO foods on the market today, which include corn, soy, those are the two big ones, cotton oil, canola oil, sugar beets, zucchini, alfalfa, papaya, and yellow squash. Now, when they genetically engineer these foods, they, they engineer them so they are resistant to be eaten by weeds, and they spray Roundup glyphosate on these foods. And what the glyphosate does is it doesn't let the weeds eat the food, but the glyphosate is impregnated into those plants, into the chips at the Mexican restaurant, into the popcorn at the movies, or into your enchilada. So when you eat these foods, you're getting this glyphosate. Corn is also engineered to be, to be a natural insecticide. They create a, what's called the Bt toxin. That actually is that when the plants eat, um, when the when the bugs eat this plant, they actually get this toxin that punctures a hole through their intestinal tract and kills the bug. Well, studies are now showing that these chemicals, the Bt toxin and the glyphosate, enter into our bodies as well. And they actually irritate and possibly puncture holes through the human intestinal tract, possibly linking that to leaky gut syndrome, something that is grossly aggravated by gluten intolerance. They've also shown that, that these chemicals can actually decrease the production of enzymes. So we don't digest hard to digest foods well, like the, the proteins like gluten and possibly casein. They also showed that, that proteins that were once able to be digested, like a gluten, it has been shown to that the body now, as a result of these toxins, actually creates an immune response against these once digestible proteins. So there's a lot of research here, definitely in the article associated with this video. I want you to watch that or listen, read that article because it's really important to realize exactly what's happening to us when we digest these GMO foods. And there's a strong link now to that weakening in our digestion and weakening our ability to digest hard to digest foods like gluten possibly even casein as well. So please check out the article. I list in the article a whole step-by-step -step way to create solutions. Now here at Lifespot, we're all about rebooting digestive strength. So you can digest hard to digest foods again. So if something comes into your system and tries to slow your digestive strength down, you're starting with a full tank of gas. You've got good, strong digestion. And these, these irritants, and these anti-digestive agents won't take us out as well. We can fight back. First step, for sure, avoid the GMO foods. Second step, make darn sure you've got the digestive strength that we were born to have. And that's something that we're really all about here at Lifespot. So please check out this article, learn how to reset your digestive system, and avoid those GMO foods. Thanks for listening. See you next time.